Hi guys! So uh, I finally made it to Korea. I'm here in my dorm. It is around 11 p.m. Um, I just wanted to keep you guys updated and see how I did. I made it finally here. One hour of a taxi ride. He was the driver was super nice. He actually helped me bring my bags um, in front of the door. Now just to give you perspective, keep in mind that we are on the third floor in a building with no elevator where the stairs are very uneven and this man had to carry two pieces of luggage that were very very heavy in the middle of summer so yes, he was having trouble helping me out but thank you so much, mister, I appreciate your help and this is the place I'll be staying at I still need to unpack everything. But that's gonna be the washer. Um, Why do the dishes? Back and over there. This is the closet. I'm so exhausted. I'm really, really tired. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go shower. Try it on this this shower. And and then I uh, should probably go eat something. Anyways, good night. Now I wish I could tell you we went to this nice restaurant, but in reality, I ended up having 7-Eleven food. Good morning. It is currently 5 a.m. since my brain won't stop thinking. And I guess I'm experiencing some of the jet lag from the flight. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna start my day now and figure things out. So apparently all the travelers arriving to Korea, they need to get a PCR test done within three days. So yesterday I asked my host where, where was the PCR center. She gave me a de the details and all that, so I have three options. The first one is take public transportation, which would take me about 13 minutes. Second one is to get a taxi which is about, I would say 12 minutes, almost the same time. And, or actually walk. Walking would take me about 45 minutes to get there. And I think I'm gonna be going with a taxi idea and then walk back or take public transportation on my way back. I'm a little bit scared. Um, so it should be fun. Yeah, let's do this. So I decided to walk to the medical center and not really by choice. I was gonna take a taxi, but I couldn't find any in the app. And then when I went to the side, actually to wait for the bus, somehow I missed it. Later, later on, I learned that you have to stand with intention so the driver can see you. Or the bus driver didn't see me. So I continue walking instead. And it's a 42 minute walk. And so far, there's nobody here on this specific street. I've had a lot of, I walked through a lot of hills, then down the hill, then up the hill, then straight on flat earth, and then back up the hill, down the hill. This is quite the exercise, actually. Now, while we did manage to arrive to the proper location guided on the GPS, it was the wrong place to be at. Thankfully though, the nurse was so kind that she called the next place and told me where to go. And although we didn't speak each other's languages, we still managed to understand each other. Also, we used the help of a translating app called Papago. And if you're in Korea, I highly suggest you download it. It's the only thing that works there. It was quite a trip. I'm sweating, I'm on jeans, I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh my God, it's so nice and sunny. It's nice to see the mountains over there. Let's continue walking.
so I finally arrived home. I'm back to the door. Before going home, I took a detour uh, to buy some groceries. I'm so exhausted. I'm all sweaty. A lot of walking in these beautiful shoes that you see over there. And yeah, um, the ladies at the supermarket, uh, when I asked them where the trash bags were, so I went to the lady and said, Anasayo. I showed her my phone and then she was giving me directions and all I understood was counter, counter. So I think she, what she meant was go to the counter and ask the ladies for the trash bags. So before I did that, I bought some, you know, I, I walked around the supermarket. So before I actually arrived to the counter, the lady, the same lady that helped me, uh, she reached out to me and she's like, oh, where, where, where are the trash bags? And she pointed again to the counter and I said, yeah, it's a counter. <laughs> Anyways, when I got to the counter, I got the trash bags that I needed and everyone helped me. All the um, ladies of the, all the cashiers did. So that was nice of them. Um, and yeah, that was my adventure at the supermarket before arriving home. Hello, beautiful people. I made it to Malaysia. Yay! I just wanted to drop in really quick and say thank you so much for checking my channel. I appreciate it. And for those who already subscribed, for those 16 people who already subscribed, thank you so much for your support so far. I appreciate it.